Hey guys, Omni here. It is finally time for the season two finale of Batwoman. Now it's been a little bit of a rocky season. I think the first couple episodes, especially given they had to reintroduce a whole new character to fill the shoes of Ruby Rose's exit, you know, absence of Kate Kane. Um, still, again, for me, I don't know why they didn't just recast. I feel like they could have had a much smoother transition, but those first couple episodes where Ryan was introduced, I actually felt were pretty strong. It was once the Coriana stuff that really started to come about after they got away from closing out season one's leftover story elements that it really kind of started to slog with Alice, with Ryan, with Sophia, that whole period. It was really losing me. Ryan was butting heads with almost everybody in the show. <laughs> um, and it was just really kind of hard to watch for a little while uh, up until episode uh, the Clue Master episode is when I think things still finally started to pick up a little bit. You know, Ryan was uh, finally kind of accepting the people around her that have been helping her. And it's, we've seen a little bit of a character growth here. We've seen the team start to kind of start to be this cohesive unit. Um, Alice, again, finally has a little bit of her agency back in that from that point forward. And then once we have this Tavaroff and Luke stuff, it really kicks off. I think like the writing from that whole that episode onward was just has been really good and like the high points of both season one and season two of the the show and i'm really excited to see where it goes especially when kate uh hits the scene finally as cersei sionis you know after enigma um enigma put her like spin on her mind you know it's it's been pretty interesting having kate kind of be a villain and it's been They've been handling it fairly well since this whole thing kicked into gear. I just think it was that whole segment of Coriana that I just couldn't really jive with too much. Now, going forward, after last week's episode, of course, you know, they kind of started to have a breakthrough with Kate's personality, getting her memories back, but Cersei Sionis is still driving, that persona that Enigma gave her is still driving her body, but she's in a way that she uses these new this access to Kate's memories against everybody to give her journals, her information, infiltrate the Batcave, and give that all to her father, Black Mask. So the team doesn't have the Bat uh, doesn't have anything in the Batcave anymore. It's all been wiped out, including a stash of, you know, locked up uh, devices, trophies, BOWs of uh, previous Batman villains. You know, key part of this being Bane's Venom, which we saw Black Mask is gonna give to Tavaroff, with I feel like is gonna have him become his comic book counterpart, Menace, who is a villain of uh, Batwing, which has been building up for what Luke is going to, uh, <laughs> that Luke is gonna turn into at the end of this. Uh, we saw some promos of it. They've re released some images of the suit as far back as like three, three weeks ago or something like that. So I'm looking forward to seeing that thing in action. But I've really liked how the story's picked up. Alice is still the key. And I feel like um, after her little bit with Sophia at the end of last episode, she's going to reunite with the group. She's going to be the key of getting Kate back on our side. And uh, it's going to be everybody versus Black Mask, the uh, Menace, and the Flag, Flag Smashers, Jesus, the <laughs> False Face Society. What the fuck? Anyway, guys, remember, full-length, unedited reaction watch-alongs are available for all these episodes and all the other Arrowverse shows that we cover here on the channel, as well as the stuff over on Disney+, Plus, Invincible, a bunch of other things are over on Patreon, or if you become a member here on the channel, get you access to the same things as well. That all being said, guys, let's go ahead and jump into the finale of Batwoman Season 2. Here we go. Why are we allowing these hmm. Oh, whoa. We should be dictating these terms to them. So I'm asking you to join. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's kind of badass. I've dropped masks at a dozen street corners. Dude, he's turning this shit into the purge. Become your own vigilant. Because you know what they say about power. Damn, dude. That's a great way to kick off. Hmm. I need to head back to the clinic and prep for a very busy night. When you guys come up with a game plan, call me or send a raven or whatever. <laughs> I watched this dream 50 times. I'm at 5% battery and I have no idea where Black Mask is broadcasting from. 
hang on. I think I got something. Now, Batman. Oh, there's a classic here. Great voice. No shame. I mean, he built a Domino's directly into his suit, right? Every single nut job. He dumped at Arkham, keeping him off the streets, my ass. He wanted to <laughs> relish in the feeling of being powerful. Venom turned Bane into a hulking terror. Guy could rip the tooth out of your smile while shrugging off a pipe wrench, you know? <laughs> All right. Counteract the Venom's roid rage. Well, let's face it. Everybody wants a bulletproof army, but nobody wants to deal with Bane's tantrums all day. <laughs> Who will save us now? And that's when Roman Sionis swoops in and puts a bullet right through Black Math's shiny skull. This, of course, after I've offered a raise to whoever volunteers to wear my mask that day. <laughs> Black mask head, Gotham crowns Roman Sionis as their white knight. It's not a terrible plan. I'm the establishment. And they wonder why we test our products on animals first. Get rid of them. Nah, he ain't done yet. This was a date. Bitch shot me with a crossbow while I was trapped in an elevator. <laughs> I'm just Ryan Wilder. Damn right you're Ryan Wilder. <laughs> and this chick's about to learn that the hard way. Uh, where's Kate? <laughs> what are you doing in my loft? <laughs> I'm sorry. Your loft? You took her bedroom too? <clears throat> just say the magic words. <laughs> oh. Little drawings he made when he was young. His dad was working on actually making it real for him. Oh. <laughs> Dude, hell yeah. Oh no! <laughs> they brought Tavrov to her clinic, and they left that in him. Not sure. I, I don't know what to take of that. You read my mail. Relax. It's just a super sexy power bill. Postcard from Angelique. She sends her exos. Oh, and uh, don't forget, you have a parole board hearing tomorrow at 9:15. She's in witness protection. How would she send a postcard? Trust me, you're not the only one in the car. Shocked I served more time than you. I'm serving my time, dear. Sophia's punishment is worse than a stint at Blackgate by killing Ocean. She made sure I'd spend the rest of my life in agonizing grief. I'm saying I get it. I get why you hate me. I said I'm sorry. What do you want? I mean, forgiveness? I can't. You don't deserve my forgiveness. 
because you're the hero and I'm the villain? What kind of hero kills the first woman they've ever met? What are you talking about? Your biological mother died in childbirth, right? Your first act on this earth resulted in mommy's death, so you want to point fingers at who killed the moms in your life? Mm-hmm. <laughs> do everything in my power to dump your ass behind bars. Yeah, I don't know what Alice is getting at here because it's a I mean, it does none of it excuses her actions. Well, still no. Yeah, I mean, God is so gray now because like it she was made this way because she was brainwashed to be a psychopath. Luke? Can I lose you? Luke, oh no. Can you hear me? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 He's experimenting. Okay, we need to get these out of here. Heads up. Oh shit. I really dig this suit, though. I'll distract him. Can't beat her, and I can't drive the Batmobile. Save my sister. You know, where's my snake bite? Luke. <laughs> oh, in getting the hang of it. So make sure you get close, but not so close that you accidentally spray yourself. Mm, yeah, you say that, but that's definitely going to be a thing that happens. So how would it, how this mass situation? come about how are you? Justice. justice you want to know why you failed as a villain you can't be bad and have feelings you can't hate that woman and protect her identity. See, it's confusing. You can't sell a confusing message. <laughs> you know who's a great villain? The Joker. Oh! <laughs> Good luck with your messaging. Yeah, Joker is a great villain. What the fuck? memory the car crash uh they both get smoked with it hers actually realized an alice was behind the door yeah
know what you're doing. Shut your head back. Help me. What? She needs air. Nothing's happening. Again. So where's that leaf case? You're leaving Gotham. First to see my dad and a friend in National City. Then I'm off to find Bruce. Ah! Bruce. I think we both deserve something a little easier. Well, mm. that is for you. All right, so she, I mean, I guess she's just going to go find Bruce. Well, it's one of the one of the things I suggested. So now the question is, what happens when Kate finds Bruce? <laughs> Does he just come back and take over everything again? Your mother didn't die in childbirth, Rai Rai. Mummy dearest is still very much alive. Hmm. Oh no! Poison Ivy next season. She regenerate from that. However, what happened there? All right. I mean, okay. It wasn't. It was a much better finale than season one because season one technically didn't even have one. But I enjoyed it overall. Uh, it's not the strongest finale we've had in any of the seasons, but I like what it was trying to get to. What it was. It was just trying to wrap up a lot. Um, Alice and Ryan teaming up. Uh, to take down Black Mask. I really like that whole segment. Um, the scene of them fighting on the bridge and then Alice coming in, uh, getting Kate with the snake bite and then both experiencing these core memories that were really important to both of them. One, Alice saying goodbye to Ocean and then reconciling with only really being able to have one or the other. And then versus Kate, who had always been regretting not being able to sense her twin on the other side of that door and having stepped away. And they just kind of rescue each other in that moment. Now, they did kind of forget the whole keyword thing, the password thing, but maybe like the whole core memory can overwrite that, I guess. I don't know. No Jacob in this episode. Obviously, he's been transferred to Metropolis. Um, Ryan and... See, because I've heard that Kate's still going to be in season three, that Wallace Day is still listed on the cast for season three. I don't know if that's accurate, though. So I'm I'm wondering how that's going to go. Are we going to check in with her and her journey to find Bruce? Are we going to kind of... Is that going to be like the background story while everything's happening in Gotham? I don't know. And again, like I mentioned earlier, is like what happens when they find Bruce? Because then it's it's kind of like you're passing the question. Like what th the entire time with Ryan, you're like, what happens when we find Kate? Is she going to take the suit back? Is she going to still be here? What happens when we find Bruce? It's that same question, but now it's Bruce again. Um, and I hope there's a satisfying answer to that. And I hope that we do find him, but I don't know what that's going to open up. Now, with Superman and Lois going on, if they do bring in Warren Christie, you know, have him be this world's Batman, what happens? I, I would love for them at some point to have, you know, Batman and Superman meet in this world and see how that blends together. And maybe they could even do a Batman spinoff. But then again, it comes down to it. It's like, what happens with Gotham? Or how are we going to have... What happens when everybody just comes back to Gotham? Like, I just don't... What's the show going to be? I don't know. Um, and that's, of course, assuming that the show survives past season three. Um, but I'm looking forward to season three, especially for more of Batwing, because us, with as much as they were promoting it, it was very minimal in this episode. Like, 
two scenes really and we only really saw him do a heavy punch and then catch mary and that was pretty much the end of it um menace tavroff didn't really do get to do a whole lot uh so i guess like a uh, little underwhelmed on the tavroff luke connection in this episode and kind of the payoff for luke getting the suit though i think the suit looks awesome I'm glad that he's finally Batwing and that hopefully next season we have a little bit of a, I don't know, like more focus on that side of things because I'd like to see a lot of that, that balance. Let's see the team expand. Again, they reference Stephanie Brown again, so hopefully we see her again next season. Um, and we just kind of build out this team that is now defending Gotham. I like the whole bit with uh, Ryan in the courtroom, the evolution of her relationship with the probation officer. Uh, um. I don't know. It it was a it was a really good episode. I just I don't know what I, I expected a little bit more, and I'm not exactly sure what I really was wanting. I guess out of the season finale, I think really I just wanted more of a conclusive standoff between Tavroff and Luke, and then um, I don't know. Kate leaving again, I still think is a little weird, but at least she's not like retiring or anything like that. They're not like killing her off. They're not whatever. She's leaving Ryan the symbol to protect Gotham because, and I like her, at least the reason that they gave for her leaving to go find Bruce. I do, you know, it's a thread that they got to answer. And I don't know if like answering that question is going to end the show. So I don't know. Uh, we just got to see how they tackle all of this. Alice actually being behind bars, um, the back and forth with Ryan, like, I just, I, I get it. There's, like, no reconciling these two characters. Even if uh, Alice was mentally manipulated into being the way she was, and she didn't directly kill Ryan's mom, but she is at fault for that death, and that can't be undone. Now... This revelation about Ryan's biological brother being alive. Um, I wonder what how that's going to play into things. I, I'm curious about that. But I do like that Alice is at least accepting what's going on with her. I do think that given everything that's happened right now, that I still think is a little weird that Kate was like, I can't help her until she decides to be Beth again. I was like, God damn it. She, she didn't give up on you at all at this point. Uh, so I don't know. I feel like not having a sit down conversation between Kate and Alice is something that was missing in this episode as well. And I didn't, I think, I didn't think the fight choreography in this episode was very strong as it was in some of the previous episodes. But overall, this was about wrapping up a lot of threads. I just think, I think they tried to do a little too much in just this episode. Maybe that's why. Uh, it it just didn't feel to, for me as epic a conclusion as it should have been if that makes any sense i don't hate it i don't hate it don't get me wrong don't misconstrue what i'm saying i still like the finale i just uh wasn't completely blown away with it um but i'm ex it, given all the threads that it has set up the position everybody's characters are in it does have me looking forward to season three and seeing where that goes especially with this new thread being at, like you know we got to we got to try to find all these tr Batman trophies that are out in the world to keep people from getting them. You know, we saw uh, Penguin's umbrella floating down the river. Jervis Tetchis is the Mad Hatter's hat, which can mind control people. Uh, Poison Ivy's vine got out and we saw that growing. We've saw, po I mean, obviously, Poison Ivy was a reference before. So I'm wondering if, if, if she's like out there in the world or if this is one of those cases where she's been like defeated to the point where if this takes root, she will regrow. Because we don't really know what her fate has been in this world. Is there is Clayface's uh, Clay going to get out there and is Clayface going to come back? You know, Riddler's daughter died this season. Is Riddler going to be in the next season? There's a lot of possibilities set up for season three to be probably the best season of Batwoman if they play their cards right. And we don't have to worry about recasting anybody. We don't have to worry about forcibly rebooting anything. We have, 
I, f I feel like this and rather <laughs> rather than I think maybe what what, what kind of held this episode back for me in like a satisfying finale for the season might be because it it really felt like not only is it like a wrap up of everything that's come up before this but it's also like a a shotgunning of like all the setups for what can come in season three and usually that can be balanced pretty well in your season finales just in general usually you have you do have like a little bit of a stinger that leads you into season three but like i feel like ha some of the episode was devoted to doing that as well as wrapping up as everything i don't know it's weird i just feel like the balance and the pacing was a little weird um but yeah overall pretty good pretty good season i still overall i don't know it's tough it's tough between season one and season two which one i still think i like more but um I don't know. Well, I, I'm really looking forward to season three. So we'll see how it pays off. We'll see what happens. But uh, I don't know if I'll give, I don't, again, at this point, I don't know if I'll do reactions for season three or not, uh, but I will definitely be watching it. So I don't know. What do you guys, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Sound off the comments. Let me know what you guys thought of this finale. What are your thoughts on all the, revelations that we had where the characters are at the end of all of these do you did you feel satisfied with what happened and how it played out sound off in the comments let me know your thoughts down below we'll carry on the conversation after the video thank you guys for tuning in and before we go huge shout out to our patron legends mandy sharon ryan karen and jason coleman thank you guys so much for your support remember guys we have a discord open down in the description of the video you got links to that and all my socials as well as the full length unedited reaction watch alongs are over on patreon or if you become a member here on the channel but guys this wraps up season two of batwoman so hope you enjoyed hope you stick around and we will follow suit on the sub uh the other arrowverse shows to follow so i hope you stick around and subscribe for those and otherwise i will catch you guys in the next one take care everybody